Hi, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, well, welcome to my channel. Um, on one of my previous videos, I got um, basically a suggestion. Somebody asked me if I could show more of the 3D printer and uh, my 3D printing techniques, I guess. Well, I just finished enclosing my 3D printer. Now it's completely heated. Um, what I did was I used the... Uh, Aluminum siding for the actual sides, most of it. And on the edges, what I did was I used this U-channel uh, cable hider. It uses double-sided tape. I used 3M double-sided tape and stuck the whole shebang in there. And uh, one of the other things that I did was um, I bought this corrugated plastic. That if I have another piece somewhere, uh, it's basically this. As you can see, it's got holes in it. And this corrugated plastic will actually act as an insulator for this printer. I've run the chamber at about 45 Celsius and then I ran it at 50 Celsius but I'm getting way too much heat loss even though I have it I have a single layer of cork on the inside of the printer as insulation it doesn't seem to be enough so I'm gonna add another layer of cork at some point but uh, for now at 45 C it's it's actually providing a pretty damn good resolution, even at 0.3 mil, everything is looking good, it's not warping, everything is flat, so on and so forth. So, being that I finished this part of the printer up, I'm going to be uh, enclosing the top over here, making a top for hiding this, these, the, the pulleys and so on and so forth. I'm going to hide this whole thing, basically at a another layer on top and close that and close the sides in the bottom and as you can see I'm wearing a tank top or should say a white beater whatever the hell you call these undershirts um, in the mirror so I also want to insulate the bottom close it up so this thing will be actually a completely finished machine it's taken me a year to get to this point I've gone through a lot of revisions I didn't have I haven't de dedicated as much time as I wanted to to this um, but I can confidently say that this is a very reliable machine I just cleaned up the bed with um, some acetone and it left streaks which are fine the, little, uh, the ABS goop that I use uh, will stick to that just nice and uh, instead of using the secondary output on the ramps I'm actually using one of these uh, PID microcontrollers to control the element inside the heated chamber. And uh, as of now, it's sitting in at 30 Celsius because I had it shut off. I don't know, it's hot today, so I don't really need to add any more heat to the apartment. But uh, I just turned it on. And uh, this temperature probe is the actual um, ramps area and power supply. You got the main power supply voltage. Oops. This is the heated bed voltage over here. As you can make it out, it's about 14 volts. Um, next up, I'm going to 3D print some elements to cover this bottom part up like I did the rest of the printer. But uh, before I do that, I actually I have a leaking nozzle on my printer. And it's not just a nozzle, it's, uh, well, I'll cut away and I'll show you. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, I'm actually preheating the hot end so I can remove this gigantic blob of plastic that's developed. I mean, this is nearly a spool worth of leakage kind of deal, and it's okay. I reuse the stuff to make goop, but uh, I'm going to be taking this thing apart, cleaning it out with acetone, and uh, actually sealing it with uh, some Teflon tape. So as I clean out this crap, as you can tell, it's rubbery because it's hot. The hot end is at 245C. I'm gonna try to take this thing apart, clean it up, show you what uh, couple of hundred hours worth of printing is it looks like and uh, take it from there 
Well, I disassembled it. And I have to say it looks like hell. And yes, this is still hot. I have uh, fingers that are fairly heat resistant, I have to say, but heater block looks like hell. I'm going to take a die because I don't want to disassemble the entire hot end. I'm going to take a die and just clean out the threads on the heat break over there. Because I don't want to back out the whole heat break. Um, just clean out the threads and I'm going to put some Teflon tape. In the meantime, I'll show you guys how to perform routine maintenance on this. And I'm also curious how much that has widened up. Because I did use some abrasive uh, filament in here as well. So, a couple of hundred hours worth of printing plus abrasive filament plus running this thing at 250 Celsius plus has been an experience. In either case, I'll show you how to clean this stuff up. Alright, to clean up a hot end like this from ABS, you can do it in two ways. One way requires you to use acetone and soak it overnight, so on and so forth. I don't have the patience for that. Really don't. Number two is a three-step program. Number one, you gotta have an understanding wipe. Number two, you gotta have a stove with gas in it. And number three, you gotta have an air vent up there. But at least a filter. Because you're basically burning up the crap out of that hot end. So, what I'm going to do, since I forgot to remove this before I heat it up, wait, oh, the pliers I'm using. These are old, beat up set of pliers. They're like cheapies that I got a while back from like a flea market. So, I didn't really mind killing the tempering on the tips. So, you know, make sure you don't use a good set of pliers before you ruin your snap-on set of pliers or something along those lines and uh, you know blame me for ruining your tools you should know how to use them well with that said what I'm basically gonna do is burn the crap out of all of this and uh, I'll cut back when it's done burned out when it's burnt out and I quenched it in normal water then I usually take some sandpaper or emery cloth or something along those lines and clean it up. I'll show you in a, in a few. Alright guys, later. Check it out. ABS burning. Woo, fire, fire, fire! Okay, cleaned out the block, a little bit of light sanding here on the sandpaper, pulled out the small tiny bits. This is a 0.6 mil bit. Exactly on the dot. And this nozzle, originally, was drilled with this bit 0.48.49 and that one in here fits way too loose this one fits just right so I went up a hundred micron on this nozzle so I guess when I slice I'm gonna change my Cura settings to match this nozzle and uh, return some of my quality. It's amazing though, a um, couple of hundred hours worth of printing. Eh. It's ABS, high temperature stuff. It's not necessarily the cleanest ABS out there either. I use a um, Micro Center brand ABS, which is the cheapest one around. Speaking of plastics, uh, I will be doing another video coming up reviewing some nice nicer plastics and this nozzle is going to be just perfect for that type of stuff because 0.6 mil is exactly what I need. I actually have another one that I already drilled to 0.6 but I'm going to use this one because it's 
a uh, couple hundred hours of printing again and uh, has never clogged never had an issue now that I said this I'm probably gonna get a clog as soon as I start printing with this so with that said I'll show you the next portion of it well I finished putting it together as you can tell over there it and there it is, nice and clean, a nice string that came out because I pushed the filament through and the nozzle has been properly resized to 0.6 mil which is all fine and dandy and uh, the heated chamber, well showing 37C and dropping because the door is open Now that it's closed, it'll go back up, but as you can tell, see now it's going back up. The bed's at 105, 245, that is the nozzle temperature. In case anybody's wondering, the sprinter is pulling out 410 watts out of the socket while it's heating up. So, the heater is at full blast. The bed is still trying to heat up. The hot end is maintaining its temperature. And life continues. So, I'm printing out the mini skirt. The, the skirts that go on this portion of the printer. All the way around. Because uh, I have two pieces that are missing that I need to print out. And uh, that's about it. I think that will complete my heated chamber preparations. Now it's just cosmetics. Alright. Talk to you guys soon. And uh, look down there and subscribe, will you? Alright, bye-bye.